I grew up in a family where my parents got divorced when I was super young. I was like six. So weekends I was with my dad, weekdays with my mom. Obviously school year I was gone at school all day during that, but um, during the summertime, especially now, like we kind of have free reign to do whatever. And my mom was never home because she was always working. She would get up at shit. I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't know if I can swear. Yeah. Um, she'd probably be up and out of the house by 4:30. And then I wouldn't see her again until she got home probably closer to 5.30 or 6. She managed a produce department at Dominic's, which isn't even around anymore. But it was like a grocery store, really similar to Jewel. Like there's so many mornings I remember her waking me or my brother up just to say goodbye to us. And then like we were kind of on our own for the day. Which was at its ups and downs, but I think like that's where I started to understand what like work ethic is. Even if you weren't happy doing what you were doing, you weren't going to do a crappy job of it. Just for the sake of doing a bad job, like you got to take a sense of pride in everything that you do. So I thought, uh, I don't know, going towards the whole CrossFit deal, like I was working, ironically, where OCF is, I was working a matter of like, I think eight blocks from there, at uh, the corner of 30th Avenue and North Avenue at a uh, distribution warehouse that was all dried milk products. So I always tell people the name and I always think like I was the old school drop a bottle of milk off at your doorstep at the guy. Yeah, I worked there for like six or seven years. And after I didn't make bad decisions, but made some decisions that weren't the best at the time, um, I started working there full time. And I found OCF simply because it was the closest gym to there, which you guys can't really see because the camera's on me right now, but if you look, it's under right underneath that viaduct to the left-hand side is where I used to work. It's one of those things where I started training four days a week, four days turned into five, five turned into six, six turned into seven, and in one way, shape, or form, I found myself at the gym every day of the week working on barbell work, for me, still mobility stuff. But after about that, I want to say I was there for about a year or so, um, a year and a half. Angelo approached me and brought up the idea of me potentially interning to learn the coaching process and the coaching tools and cues that we use. And um, it was pretty intimidating at first, I'm not gonna lie, like I was really nervous and simply because I know how passionate and uh, proud he is of what he's built. So in order to like uphold that, type of work ethic and uphold that type of, you know, pride in doing what we were doing every day, I knew I couldn't screw up. I knew screwing up was going to happen, but like I knew I didn't want it to. So like every day I felt like I was walking on eggshells, which is natural I think when you start something new, but like the internship took off and like I just went off running with it. Like I fell in love really quickly. I got my first certification at CrossFit Level 1 and then after that, it turned into this just like sponge type of absorption of trying to learn as much as I could and I still feel that way. Around. So it's just, it's crazy to me to think that I went from waking up every day around 5.30 and trying to figure out a way between my home at Forest Park and my work in Melrose Park of a way to get out of work without getting in trouble so I wouldn't have to work to now. I can't get out of my house fast enough to get to the gym because I want to be there so bad. So, I mean, it's nuts. It's like, I kind of feel, and like I know I'm not the only one who thinks that way, but like I feel like people either take on the role of forever being a student and just understanding that this is always going to be a learning process and like every day you're going to have the opportunity to learn something more 
whether it's about yourself, about physically, mentally, spiritually, whatever you want to say, or with whatever you do with your life. And like I took on that role and like Angelo gave me the opportunity to kind of let that blossom. And he gave me the chance to like let what was inside of me kind of come out as a coach. Wake up every day thinking about how I can help people, thinking about how I think my goal every day when I wake up, and whether this is within my family, which is huge, within my relationship with my girlfriend that I'm extremely fortunate to have, whether it's within the relationship I have with her family or the relationships I have like just within my life itself, I wake up every day just hoping some point or another, I did one thing that can make somebody smile and laugh and just forget about all the bullshit. There's so many times, and I'm the same way as everybody else is, but so many times I feel like people just get caught up in junk and just stupid things that they're thinking about. And that takes over from all the good stuff that we have going on around us. So if it means me being a goofball when we're getting warmed up in our class, kind of let go of everything and are able to focus within that next hour, hour and a half, whatever it is at OCF to change your day, then I'm like super amped up to be a part of that if it means that like I put something on Facebook or send out a Snapchat being ridiculous and you laugh at me and realize that things aren't that serious and you can kind of take a deep breath and take a step back and it's even better.